Hi everybody, it's Robbie from Southern California and today this video is only on how to make that fake ice cream you see. Look at this. And I used a tin, but you can use whatever you've got. I just wanted to make my own for my water fountains. You could use it for whatever you want to use it for because I needed something that the birds could grip onto. They have to be able to stand on it. Here, I used a rock and a rock worked just as good. So use whatever you've got if you want to make something out of the way I designed this. This worked perfect and it's waterproof and the water can flow on it and none of that paint is going anywhere. So what I ended up doing is working on my kitchen table with trays. And I used a tray so I can maneuver and move things around. And I needed paint, so I used paint. Now the paint you're going to use for this is going to be regular craft paint. Most of the paints are latex. Do not use oil. Any other paint is fine. And you'll know oil because oil is oil. So you're going to use regular craft paint. And in um, California, it's all non-toxic. I'm going to presume that it's non-toxic everywhere. Now, this is a very unique way of doing it. I have no idea how I figured this out. But I guess when you're up late at night thinking, gee, I need a scoop of ice cream. Well, I decided to use a glue gun. Now, let me say right here, I should do a video on that. Not all glue guns are created equal. So you're going to want a full-size glue gun. Because if you use one of the mini ones, You'll, it's, you can only squirt out a little bit at a time. So with a regular glue gun, you can get a lot more. So here what I'm doing is I'm taking the hot glue, I'm putting it on the tin as you saw, and I'm mixing the paint in. I've got here red and white because I decided to go with a scoop of strawberry ice cream for my bird fountain I made. You put the hot glue on to the tin, and like I said, you could do the same with the rock. And you just keep going to the paint and you're mixing the hot glue with your paint. And I blended it so it would have a unique look. I didn't want it like a solid pink, but you could do it any way you want. I'm not going to take you through the whole video because it's 25 minutes. It only took me 20, 25 minutes to do the whole thing. But we'll speed this up because I'm sure you'll get the idea. So I kept putting the hot glue on and you work it little at a time. Because remember, that hot glue is going to cool very quickly when you put it on to whatever you're putting it on. You know how hot glue works from a hot glue gun. So you work at small amounts, kind of like building or rolling a snowball. You're going just little bits at a time and then mixing in your paint. I used an ice cream stick here. You can use whatever you want, but I just kept dipping the ice cream stick into the paint. And I used about three glue sticks maybe a regular full-size glue sticks to make this little scoop of ice cream. So you want to have your glue sticks ready with your glue gun plugged in. So you just keep doing it, keep dipping it. And I like the texture. Don't worry about, you know, how it can get stringy as you're working with hot glue because you can go through when it's all done and cool and wipe it off with your hand and clean it off. Right now, you're slowly building around whatever you decide to make your project out of. And just keep going around little by little, add a little bit more. And it's very forgiving if you don't like the way it went on. Just keep going and you can always go back and do it. Remember, it, even though it, it gets hard right away, the glue, it still can be hot. So handle it carefully when you do that because it still can be hot. It, it can take a, a few minutes to cool down. So I just kept mixing in. It, it is a slow process. Like I said, it took me, twenty. I think the, I, when I videotaped it, it took me 24 minutes for the whole thing, which really wasn't that bad when you think about it. And you may be able to go faster than me. I just wanted to go very slow. I need, needed to get some more paint, and then now I did the bottom. I started with the top, and then I figured I would do the bottom part of it. What I'll do at the end is I will tack on uh, parts of the video where I did the rock. So you'll see the rock is the same way. I mean, you could use probably wood, but the reason I wanted a rock or tin is because this is going to be sitting basically in water. And that's what it looks like close up. It looks better when you're standing back. I will admit, up close, it doesn't look that great. But when you step back a few feet, it really looks good. And you can clean it up and be even neater than me. I just want, I was very anxious to get this done because I wanted that little decor for my water fountain. 
And the water fountain, I'll put the link to the water fountain in case you didn't see that. But like I said, you can use this for anything. Did I cheat on this because I was designing this for a hummingbird? Yes, I did. I decided in the well here to make the center a little bit deeper in red, just so they would come and check it out. It might attract them to the red coloring, so they would come over, see what it is, and then go, oh, I can take a bath here. It worked. So I did put a little deeper red in the center. You won't see it because this has got a well. When you step back, you won't see the red. And then again, like I said, any places you missed, any places that maybe the glue shrunk a little bit while it was drying, you can go back anytime. You could go back the next day and clean it up anytime. This is so forgiving because the glue sticks on itself. And that's how easy it is. I mean, when you mix the glue with the paint, the glue takes on the color of the paint and there will be no paint coming out. The paint is latex, which is plastic, acrylic, I should say. And then, of course, the plastic from the glue stick, that's plastic and it becomes one. So you end up with whatever color you're making. You could have made this chocolate, Neapolitan. You can make a green, blue, any color you want. If you want to make it into like a cake, you can make a design out of a cake because it looks more like frosting, really. So you could do whatever you want. Now, since my fountain is showing a Hershey syrup bottle pouring out Hershey syrup, I decided, well, I'm going to make something that looks kind of brown, like the Hershey syrup. I also painted my fountain nozzle. You saw that probably if you saw the video. And I painted it, I made the same color. So I mixed a little bit of black and a little bit of white and a little bit of red and a little bit of yellow so it will have a look of chocolate because what I'm doing now just for fun is I'm going to make stripes of a chocolate syrup on top. So I mixed the paint and made the color I wanted. If you had brown, I didn't have any brown. If you had brown, you could just go straight with brown if you want to put chocolate syrup on it. Now I started here by making the stripes where the chocolate would pour down and I slowly started to mix just in the stripe the paint. The paint immediately, it's amazing, becomes part of the glue. It, it's, it's unreal. I, <laughs> I'm having so much fun with this. So you just put your stripes where you want, you know, where you want the chocolate to be. And you mix the paint into the hot glue carefully. And then you get the glue stick, the hot glue, and it's got to be hot. Remember that. You can't paint. If you put it on cold, you'll end up with paint on plastic. You want the paint, the acrylic paint, to become part of the plastic. So it's like a plastic toy. It is just the color. And so I just slowly went around the whole thing, making my drizzle of hot glue. And I added in the color and just slowly pushed it in. Again, I used a ice cream stick here. You could use whatever you want. You could use a plastic spoon. You could use whatever you've got, the end of a metal spoon if you want, because it would peel off a metal if you had to pull it off. This really adhered really, really well. And just I just went around the whole thing and continued to mix the color into each stripe that I put in there. As long as you mix the paint into the hot glue, it becomes one, and it becomes waterproof. It's... Um, it takes the color on, so there's no paint that's going to be running into your water because the plastic, the hot glue, takes on that color. Now what I ended up doing is I put a little small layer of just plain glue, hot glue, on top of the stripes so it would stand out a little bit more. So from a distance, it looks like something like more 3D. Even though it was 3D, I wanted to just give it a little more of a 3D look to it. And I also built around the top just a little bit so it would be a little bit of a well to hold a little tiny few extra drops of water. So this way if a hummingbird came and sat on it, there's that small amount of water. Since the water is going to be pouring on top of it, not coming up from under it. This particular fountain, the water poured on top. So this way there would be a little bit of water that he could stand there. And with the glue sticks, using it this way and making it rough, it makes the greatest perch a perfect landing place for small hummingbirds. They have really a good place to grip onto. 
I ran out of paint. I mixed up a little bit more paint. It's so forgiving. You can go away, do whatever you have to do, and come back and finish it later. If I would have had brown paint and the regular colors I needed, I bet you this would have taken me le probably 10 minutes, but I kept walking away having to go get some more paint and do something else. It was really quick, really a quick, fun project to do. So I just worked my way around my ice cream and added some extra color since the second batch of coloring was slightly different than the other. It didn't matter. It just kind of went over it, mixed again the paint together with the hot glue. And what's nice about a hot glue gun, you can do that anywhere. You don't have to worry about using that outside. It doesn't give off any smoke or anything. You can use that in the house. Just sit down and who knows what you can build with this because what you're doing is you're taking that hot glue stick that's sitting there on that table and you're turning it into something. I have been using a hot glue gun for everything. My favorite things, a hot glue gun, my soldering iron I, I use all the time. That's like my two favorite things to use around here. And just slowly built the whole thing up. Such a fun thing to do. I've got so many more ideas of what you could do with a hot glue gun. I am basically done. The only other thing I needed to do was to put extra hot glue in the center because I want to make sure that's well covered. No paint comes out. And it looks like water, and which is really good because this was going into a fountain or on a fountain. So that extra glue that would be dripping down a little bit on the sides looks like water it will shine really nice and I made sure the well was built up a little bit but mainly that the red paint was covered in the glue stick glue from the glue stick so this way there would be absolutely no paint going back into my water fountain and there wasn't it this is this is it so that's all there was to it and there's nothing else that's it and you'll see real quick um, just to add on to the end the rock was just the same. You build it up the way you want. I did not put a well onto the rock that I made, but it built up the same way. You mix the glue, same way, the hot glue with your paint, whatever you're making. Find the shape rock that works best for the project you're working on. And that's all you have to do. You coat the rock. I think the rock actually will hold the glue even better than the tin. But you know, the tin's been going strong. No problems at all with it. So if you don't have a mold that you like, go ahead and find the rock that you like, build it up, same way, it will work the same. And then with me, like you can make it for whatever project you're working on, but for me, I used it for the fountain and it was so fun. And the rock's got a good weight too, so it's not going anywhere. And the hummingbirds love it. I can't believe it. I can't wait to get some more projects done with my glue stick and more water fountains. With that, have a wonderful day and don't forget to eat what you grow and have fun making projects, especially if you're doing it for the birds. Have a great day. Bye-bye, everybody.